Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream and another video today and today's video is going to be about is Thailand the right place for you to be? Is Thailand the right place for you to retire to? This follows um, a video that I watched the other week with uh, Pete from Tyrish Times. He was interviewing somebody with regard to um, how he doesn't think Thailand was the right place for him. So looking on that, he, he, I think the title of the video is something like uh, what Thai YouTubers don't tell you. I like to think that I give a balanced view of living here. I know I sing Thailand's praises and I know I say many, many good things about Thailand. And as I'm not a negative person, and I always believe the glass is half full as opposed to half empty. Um, maybe it's my views are a little bit biased towards living in Thailand because I live in Thailand. But today's video, today's video, I'm going to talk about the good and the bad. In my mind, after living here for 12 years, what people may find strange about it. And it's, it's an honestly blunt um, experience of living in Thailand. Just because of this one video. And I think at the end of the day, I have a balanced view of living here. And people like my videos because I am an honest person and I do give um, honest reviews and that. So here we go with regard to is Thailand the right place for you to live and retire to and we're going to start off with let's start off with the bad things shall we because let's face it the bad things are more more what people want to know and a spoiler alert there isn't actually many bad things but here we go for a lot of people who come into Thailand, and I've talked to many, many, many people with regard to living in Thailand, who've retired to Thailand and have actually gone home back to the UK or America, or going back to the UK and America because Thailand wasn't for them. So, if you're a young person, want to come and live in Thailand, I take my hat off to you because it is a beautiful location, it is a beautiful place to live. But one, being young, under 50, I still didn't get my hose pipe connected, so I'm going to turn the water off. So I've been young, under 50, and trying to live in Thailand, which is a beautiful country to live in because, let's face it, it's warm all year. <coughs> the people are friendly, people are nice. It's in a nice area of the world. And so with all the trouble that's going on now, it's, it's probably even better. But okay, you're young. And um, you just haven't got the opportunities here. This is one of the, the bad things. If you're a young person wanting to, to escape where you are, the opportunities that arise in Thailand are very few and far between. And I'm going to give you some examples of this for I've had people asking me whether they could retire into, into Thailand and get a job and work and you know earn a good living here in Thailand and I've got to say with sadness no you can't for instance for me in England although I was a firefighter full-time I also had my own electrical business and uh, it's the electrical business that we're going to talk about is that I used to earn about 125 to 150 pounds a day being an electrician um, now over here in Thailand an electrician if they're lucky they're on a thousand baht a day roughly a thousand baht it's 25 25 to 30 pound a day if they're lucky so as an electrician would you work for 25 30 pound a day even living in Thailand you know that's not a lot of money to live on so say a thousand baht a day 
as an electrician, even if you got a job as an electrician over here, that's only 30,000 baht a month. I live on 30, uh, I live on 55 to 60,000 baht a month. And that's just on my pension. So I'm on double what an electrician would be on in here. So would you want to be working six or seven, well, six days a week for 30,000 baht? There was a, a guy that I know, he's getting a house built. And he had a, a plaster in there doing all the rendering of the walls. Wow, he was a jack of all trades and he was superb at doing what he was doing. Perfectionist. Uh, if he could only get a job in the UK, he'd be on a thousand pounds a week. A thousand pounds a week because of his skill level. He, he was just very, very good. And uh, here, he's on 600 baht a day. That's all he charges. And he thinks he's doing well on 600 baht a day because it's a foreigner that's paying him. 600 baht a day. What's that, 14, 15 pounds a day? So you, you get me drift now, don't you? As a young person, if you want to come and work here, okay, there are other things that you can do. If you're working online and you do website design, basic stuff like that, you can do anywhere in the world. And maybe you can eke a living out by doing that, working around the world. Or is it guaranteed? No, it isn't. And are you providing yourself money for a pension? You know, while you're earning that type of money? I think not. I think most people want enough money to live on now and will think about retirement when it, when it actually comes around. And believe you me, it comes around very quick. So, as a young person wanting to work in... In Thailand, it's very, very difficult. So perhaps this is why this young person was saying that Thailand isn't the, the place to be because he's, um, you know, the opportunities aren't there. And I agree with him. The opportunities aren't there as a young person. So, for all you youngsters think I'm going to go and live, and live it up in Thailand or another Asian country, think again. Now if you're retired or over 50, that's a whole different ball game of being over 50 and we're going to come on to that now. Because getting a retirement visa, once you're over 50 is incredibly easy. There's, there's routes to go along where, you know, okay, there's certain criteria that you have to meet, but that's not difficult to do, really isn't difficult to do. Thailand is a cheap place to live, but it isn't a free place to live. So you do need some money to live here. Now, we've done a few videos with regard to living on 35,000 baht a month, which is possible. 35,000 is about 80, 800 pounds a month or something like that. So it can be done. Are you going to live a, a wonderful lifestyle? Well, it might be a better lifestyle than you'd be living in your home country because everything is much more affordable over here. And the feeling of well being is much better over here than it is in a lot of the countries now. You know, the biggest things that I see on the TV are crime, the cost of living crisis, and uh, ju just the feeling of insecurity. Now, of living here for 12 years, I've never felt that ever. I live in a wonderful location on a, not a lot of money, you know, 55 to 60,000 baht a month. I live a reasonable, lifestyle so again being retired you can live here on your pension and you can live a reasonably good lifestyle with a pension that you have here 
but with the retirement pension, uh, retirement visa, you're not allowed to work. And let's face it, I, I discussed work earlier on. Many people want to come over here and set up a business and run a business, you know, for the, the Thai salary is now about 400 baht a day. Would you work for 10 pounds a day? 10 pounds a day. Okay, if you run a, a successful restaurant and something like that. Even at 10 pounds a day for paying your staff, you know, you still want some to make some money out of it also. And, you know, with the prices, everything's cheaper. You, you do a lot of work for not a lot of removing it, remove money. <laughs> you do a lot of work for not a lot of money. And let's face it, you come over here to retire. It's important that you have hobbies and interests to do because otherwise, you know, that can be detrimental to your well-being because having nothing to do, you become bored, you join the, the Barstool Warriors, and, uh, you know, life can be a bit tough then. Okay, now so coming on to relationships here in Thailand. That's another biggie, is the relationships. Uh, is it perfect? No, it isn't. Is anywhere perfect in the world? No, it isn't. The women over here, or the ladies over here, are beautiful, without a doubt. And um, they're, how can I put it, they're nice, they are nice people. Thailand has, has got what the West has, is lacking for a long, long time now. Nice people. In the UK everybody's too busy for anything. Village life here is wonderful, everybody knows everybody else. Everybody looks after everybody else. It, it's a, an existence we've lost in the UK and America and that. Everybody shuts the doors now, won't answer the doors to anybody for fear of there might be bad people or whatever. Over here, it's a wonderful place to live. But getting on to relations. People, you know, say a Thai girl will rip you off. And uh, yes, it is possible to get ripped off by a Thai girl over here, but do your research, talk to people. You know, I can put you right, I can give you suggestions where you don't lose everything. And um, for those people who've lost a lot, these are the people who've never listened to anybody else saying, my wife, my girlfriend is different. Really? <laughs> When we get to our 50s and 60s, and if you're going through another divorce, or you're going to lose your house, or lose your condo, or whatever, or lose possessions, we can't really recover like we could have done when we were in our 30s and 40s. And it's a big hit, and it's very, very difficult to recover from that. So don't be one of them statistics where you've lost everything and you're very bitter towards the Thai people or the Thai girls that maybe have ripped you off. Buy, beware, you know, take precautions, take, you know, take an effort in trying to, re trying to stop losing the money that you've already got from here. Because believe you me, once it's gone, it's gone. You ain't gonna get it back. You know, I've no people, I know people who've lost, you know, nine and a half million on a bad property deal. You know, now, you can take precautions against that. You can take precautions against everything. So don't become a statistic and lose everything. Thailand is good and it can be bad. The weather, now we're in hot season and even I'm finding it hot now. And, um, but I'd soon to be hot than cold. In the UK now, we're going, we've got some snow and things like that. 
and I remember being there last year at this time and feeling the cold. I never ever want to feel cold again. I can go and have a cold shower. I can go and sit in front of a fan. Much cheaper than me putting the central heating on to keep warm. And I would much sooner do that. So that's just a quick, quick chat about my feeling with regard to living here in Thailand. The good, the bad, the ugly and the indifferent. So leave your comments down below if you've got any comments. Give it a like. Subscribe would be very nice because it all helps get me towards the 10,000 subscribers, which would be fantastic. Thanks for watching. So from Les, you're tired and live the dream. Until the next one, bye for now.